in my first meeting with Devon. All these years, I thought the Sabbath was Sunday. Yeah. I've been going to church. We say worship on the Sabbath, worship on the Sabbath in the Baptist church. And you corrected me. You said, no, Sunday is the first day of the week. Yeah. Sabbath is Friday sundown to Saturday Sunday. That's right. That's I right. stand corrected. <laughs> Amen. שבשנים האחרונות השבת הופכת להיות יום הקניות הלאומי ומרכזי קניות רבים נפתחו יש כאלה אפילו שמצהירים ש-50% מהפדיון השבועי שלהם נעשה ביום שבת אנחנו כמפלגה דתית מחויבים לדאוג לשמירתה של השבת ולכן אנחנו נעשה כל מאמץ לקדם את יום הראשון כיום יום המנוחה ולא יום שישי כדי שמרכזי הקניות ייסגרו בשבת Private sector shop employees in Greece have staged a one-day strike against having to work on Sundays. Hundreds marched in Athens and there were some minor scuffles with police. Shops have been hit hard by the economic crisis. The conservative-led coalition government has decided to allow some Sunday opening during the year to boost sales. Israeli Prime Minister-designate Benjamin Netanyahu facing six weeks in which to form a coalition government. Naftali Bennett, Habayat's higher hoodie party, is expected to call for the revival of Western-style weekends to benefit families. Some Israelis currently have Friday off in preparation for the Sabbath, but some do not, meaning Saturday is their only day of rest before the working week starts up again on Sunday. Under Bennett's party's proposals, Sunday would become a full day off work, Friday a short work day, and more hours would be spent at work and school from Monday to Thursday. The party says the idea will form a central part of its coalition demands for joining Netanyahu's government. This is not the first time suggestions for changing Israel's working week have been made. The initiative to turn Sunday into a day of rest was last seriously looked into in 2011, when Netanyahu tasked the head of National Economic Council with examining the possibility. A fully-fledged law proposal on the issue never materialized, though the Federation of Israeli Chambers of Commerce argued that changes would have significant economic benefits because they would bring Israel into line with Western countries. And Sabbath is to this day the acknowledged offspring of the Catholic Church as spouse of the Holy Ghost without a word of remonstrance from the Protestant world. Catholic Mirror, September 23. So they say to the Protestants, you say you're Protestants? Why you obey us then? If you obey us, then you're ours, whether you like it or not. They're so arrogant. Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Baltimore replying for the Cardinal in a letter dated 19, uh, February 10, 1920, if Protestants would follow the Bible, they should worship God on the Sabbath day. In keeping the Sunday, they are following a law of the Catholic Church. This is the Catholic Church speaking. 
John Gibney Shea, American Catholic Quarterly Review, Protestantism in discarding the authority of the Roman Church has no good reason for, for its Sunday theory and ought logically to keep Saturday as the Sabbath. Not the Creator, this is really arrogant, not the Creator of the universe in Genesis 2, 1 2, and 3, but the Catholic Church can claim the honor of having granted man a pause to his work every seven days. This is so arrogant, it blows my mind. This is unbelievable, and this one was made not in the Middle Ages, this was made in 1969. Reason and common sense demand, and this one should really clinch it. Reason and common sense demand acceptance of one or the other of these alternatives, either Protestantism and the keeping holy of Saturday, or Catholicity and the keeping holy of Sunday, compromise is impossible. There you go. Catholic Mirror, December 23, 1893. There's the battle line. If you obey God, you keep which day? Saturday. If you obey the Catholic Church, you keep Sunday. That's what they're saying. So if you're a Protestant, but you're keeping Sunday, you're really obeying whom? You're buying the Pope. That doesn't mean that Protestants out there who have never heard this information now have the mark of the beast. They don't. Because God is judging them according to the light that they have. But this issue is going to become prominent very, very soon. What do they say? Do they know this or don't they know this? Yes, they know it. Yes, they know it. Let's have it run through them quickly. The Episcopal say. Is there any commandment in the New Testament to change the day of weekly rest from Saturday to Sunday? None. Manual of Christian Doctrine, that's, well, that's their, their big writing. We have made a change from seventh day to the first day, from Saturday to Sunday, on the authority of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church of Christ. Why we keep Sunday? That's the Episcopal Church. Well, they're so near to the Catholics, it's, you know, it's just sort of a, a hiccup between them. But they say, they know, but they keep Sunday. All right. What about the other Protestant groups? The Lutheran Church. We observe the Lord's Day, Sunday, is founded, or the observance of the Lord's Day, Sunday, is founded not on any command of God, but on the authority of the church. This is the Augsburg Confession. This is the central document for Lutheranism in the Catholic Sabbath Manual, Part 2, Section 1. They know it. All right. What about the Presbyterians? A change of the day to be observed from the last day of the week to the first. There is no record, no express command authorizing the change. This is the Christian Chabot, Sabbath in our rice, one of their spokespersons. Fine. What about the Methodists? Take the matter of Sunday. There is no passage telling Christians to keep that day or to transfer the Jewish Sabbath to that day. Christian Advocate, July 2, 1942. So the Methodists know it. Many people think that Sunday is the Sabbath. But neither in the New Testament nor in the early church is there anything to suggest that we have any right to transfer the observance of the seventh day of the week to the first. The Sabbath was an East Saturday, not Sunday. Reverend Lionel Beard, Church of the People. There we go. Well, what about the Baptists? There was an easy commandment to keep holy the Sabbath day, but that Sabbath was not Sunday. There is no scriptural evidence of the change of the Sabbath institution from the seventh day to the first day of the week. Is this anybody speaking? Oh no, this is Hicks, Hiscox. He's the author of the Baptist manual. He should know. So they all know. Every single one of them knows. Here's another one. Reverend Philip Carrington, Aaron Bishop, Quebec. He sent them all in a scurry saying outright that there was nothing to support Sunday being kept holy. He definitely told the church meeting in the city of straight-laced Protestantism that tradition, not the Bible, had made Sunday the day of worship. Toronto Daily Star. So tradition, 